In the U.S., we see millions of cyber threats each year. That rate is increasing. Next level moments need the next level network. As cyber huh. criminals, the network with 24/7 built-in security, AT&T Business. I ended it at double stuff. We kept going. In the U.S., we see millions of cyber threats each year. That rate is increasing. Next level moments need the next level network. As cyber huh. criminals, the network with 24/7 built-in security, AT&T Business. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between Oreos in the UK and the US. This is Food Wars. Hey everyone, Joe from Food Wars. I will not be partaking in this episode of Oreos because me and the team are busy shooting a new season of Food Wars with a new country. That's right, coming soon to you, it's gonna be Food Wars US versus while we're working hard on that, Irene, of course, is gonna step in over there in New York. I will, however, stick around for this episode and make smart alecky comments because that's my brand. In the UK, Oreos come in four serving sizes, as a lunchbox pack of two, as a standard pack of 14, as a twin pack of 28, and as an open and share pack of 36. In the US, classic Oreos come in six serving sizes, as a two cookie snack pack, as a six cookie snack pack, as a king size 10 cookie snack pack, as a classic pack of 36 cookies, as a family size pack of 48 cookies, and finally as a party size pack of 63 cookies. The cookies themselves are supposed to weigh the same amount in both countries, 11 grams. We're going to weigh one and find out if that's true. 12.4 grams. Let's see, we're going to do the scientific method. We're going to, we're going to test the second cookie in case there's any disparities. Yeah, 11.4. You know, I bet it's the frosting. This one's 11.8 grams. Yeah, this one's 11.5. So the average weight is 11.8 grams. So our UK Oreo weighed 11.09 grams, pretty much spot on what they promised us. The portion sizes aren't the only thing that's different between our Oreos. The US also has more Oreo size options. There are the mini Oreos, then the five stuff options. Oreo thins, classic Oreo, Double stuff, mega stuff, and then the most stuff. <laughs> I didn't know the most stuff existed. I thought we ended it at double stuff. <laughs> we kept going. I have an idea. I don't know why they haven't done this, because the stuff is what everybody wants, at least in America. Oreo needs to invent just stuff. It is a sandwich cookie. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Check it out. Just stuff Oreos. Perfect, that's all I want. Whereas our options are minis, thins, classic, or double cream. For some reason we call them double cream over here, not double stuff. How much stuff are we actually getting? Let's dissect the classic Oreo. Two point five two grams. We're committing to three point two grams. Is a double stuff Oreo actually giving you double the stuff? Let's find out. Oh, look at that precision. Oh, there's 3.2, so this, if there's a six. I came to 6.13 for us. I know, they got a little bit more, that never happens. <gasps> so in the UK, double cream Oreos actually give you 143% more filling than the classic Oreo. While a US double stuff has 87.5% more stuff than a classic Oreo. I wanna know how much the most stuff weighs. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is excessive. So the most stuff weighs 11.2 grams, which is a 250% increase from the classic. It's very stabbable. I'm gonna DIY my own giant Oreo. I don't know if it's gonna fit in my mouth, but. <laughs> Harry makes the world's largest Oreo ASMR. 11. Yes. <laughs> gonna... It is a about three inches-ish. It's falling apart, much like me. You know what has to happen now, I mean, come on. Had to happen? Had to happen, Harry? This had to happen? You don't think this it There we go. Yo. Yeah. God, you need the biscuit, Ray. Yeah, I, I, I think I can see maybe uh, maybe all that stuffing at once is not a good idea. 
Here are all of the UK Oreo products that you won't find in the US. Here are all the Oreo products in the US you won't find in the UK. Oreo lends its brand name to a lot of products, so we're going to split this into sections starting with the cookies. That's nothing compared to us. We have 20 exclusive Oreo cookie flavors in the US. We have two exclusive classic Oreos in the UK starting with these ones, which are strawberry cheesecake. Let's help figure out. Ooh. It's good. <laughs> then we have this one, which is a chocolate brownie batter flavor. The flavor of the chocolate filling kind of gets lost in just the chocolate cookie flavor. Peanut butter flavor cream creme. I do think some people put peanut butter on their Oreos. So maybe that's where this came from. The mega stuff, because double stuff was simply not enough for us. Like, honestly though, I can appreciate this because I always want more of the frosting, but this is kind of ridiculous, isn't it? We have gluten-free Oreos. Lemon flavored cream Oreos. This seems like a golden Oreo with <laughs> lemon filling. It has the Oreo structure, but it's like a whole completely different flavor profile, so it tastes really good. <laughs> Oreos are too popular in this country. We don't need this many flavors. As we move through this section, you're gonna notice a bit of a Cadbury theme because Cadbury and Oreo seem to have partnered up on quite a few products. The first one we have here is a Cadbury coated Oreo. Now these are just basic Oreos, but then covered in Cadbury chocolate, which as we all know is much better than American chocolate. In the US, we see millions of cyber threats each year. That rate is increasing. Next level moments need the next level network. As cyber <laughs> The network with 24 seven built-in security. AT&T Business. So good, but so bad for you. Then after that, we have these little bags of Oreo Crunchy Bites. These come as either classic or as dipped versions. I'm not really sure how they differ from just classic mini Oreos, so I'm gonna open a bag and find out. Is that not just a mini Oreo that they've rebranded? <laughs> In my left hand, I'm holding an Oreo Crunchy Bite. In my right hand, I'm holding a mini Oreo. The only notable difference is maybe that the mini Oreo has slightly more filling. I feel like this is just an excuse to sell you maybe even less stuffed mini Oreos at a more expensive price point. Companies can't get away with this anymore now that Food Wars exists. Chocolate hazelnut. This is basically like if you put Nutella in an Oreo. Caramel coconut. I think you would like this if you like caramel. Chocolate marshmallow, ooh. I think this one does have something on the biscuit. That's different. Oh, it's on the inside. I thought they were gonna be on the outside. That'd be more fun, but. Yeah, you got the chocolate flavor, but I don't think the marshmallows really come through. Is anyone even eating these? I have never seen a single person buy any of these flavored ones. So this feels like a conspiracy. We have the Java chip. Supposedly there'll be little chocolate chips. This is good. This reminds me of like a Starbucks like Java chip frappuccino, honestly. Dark chocolate. The original is just simply not chocolatey enough for you. It matches the biscuit. Okay, I'm actually really excited about this one. They're Olympic Oreos. Ah! I'm one of those people who is like, I could have been an Olympian if my parents had just loved me enough to, you know, make it my entire life and force me to like do it, you know, <laughs> as if like that's all it takes. Red, white, and blue layers of cream with hopping candy. Oh, these layers are so uneven. It's funny. <laughs> Can you see this? It's like <laughs> a while ago they had like special Fourth of July ones that had like sparklers or something, and it was basically the same thing. The popping candy. I feel like they're kind of just reusing this. <gasps> oh wait, this is cool too. It has the Olympic circles and the American flag. You know, the best part about the Olympics this year has just been all the Olympians on TikTok, and then also how funny it is that everyone's like, we are only patriotic about how funny and hot they are. <laughs> if any Olympians are watching this, I am in fact single, thank you. When did Food Wars become Irene's <laughs> dating app? She didn't say which Olympians though, so like the Canadian curling team's coming after her, so watch out. And the next one, which is still kind of a cookie, are these Cadbury Crunchy Melts Oreo Cream. Now these are kind of big, more traditional chocolate chip cookies, but then filled with a layer of Oreo cream. I will say the packaging made me expect a lot more of the Oreo cream in the middle there. It's a very, very thin layer. I'm really disappointed by that. I, was, I had high hopes for these. The texture of the cookie is way off. Ooh, salted caramel brownie Oreos. 
They're really just turning every possible dessert into an Oreo at this point. But again, I have never seen a single person buy one of these. If you are someone who buys these, please let me know, because I, I think it's a conspiracy at this point. Ooh, this one also is a double layer. We have a light brown layer and a dark brown layer. Ooh, and then there's salt on the biscuit. They really elevated this one. It's like a gourmet Oreo. I actually really like the salt on the biscuit. It like comes together really nicely. Again, this is weird. Carrot cake, who thought of this? Carrot cake's hard to get right. It tastes like ginger with just like nice icing. So I actually like these, but that's because they don't taste like the advertised flavor. <laughs> I'm doing really bad, Shirley. I'm trying not to cry, I think. I'll be alive. I don't think the, I don't think the Oreos will kill me. Actually, the Oreos might kill me. <laughs> I can't believe this is what's gonna take me out. It's gonna be the Oreos. <laughs> chocolate peanut butter pie. How many variations of chocolate peanut butter do we need? I will say they are creative, right? It's not like they just like blast it with flavors and it looks the same. At least they they look fun. I thought the Oreos would make me feel better. They made me feel worse. I was betrayed by the Oreos. In the U.S., we see millions of cyber threats each year. That rate is increasing. Next level moments need the Next Level Network. Huh. The network with 24-7 built-in security. AT&T Business. Limited edition s'mores. Graham flavored cookies. These are the golden double stuffed Oreos. It's literally the non-chocolate version of a regular Oreo. Uh, I have an announcement to make. Golden Oreos are the best Oreo. That's right, the best. These are the best. Look at me, look at me, YouTube commenters. This is the best Oreo there is. I have access to the food inside our YouTube page. Now delete your comments if you disagree with me. This is the best Oreo. Amazing. So there's also three fudge covered flavors. Classic, dark chocolate, and mint. There's also these Oreo Thin Bites in original and white fudge. So these are basically mini Oreos covered in chocolate. And of course the Oreo ID, which are customizable Oreos. We decided to decorate it with white sprinkles and put Joe's face on it since we missed him this episode. I guess you could call them Joreos. <laughs> That's such a good idea. Why don't we have that? That's such, that's such a funny like party gift, like wedding favor. There's a lot of potential there and I kind of wish we had that. Look, it's Joe. <laughs> I'm in LA and I eat food and do things and I have a podcast. To do. I don't have a podcast. I am the last human being on the planet to have a podcast. Comment below what my podcast should be and who I should have on it. Sorry, Joe, I'm gonna cut your face in half. I don't think I would be saying this about people. It's just a lot of sugar. It's too much sugar. Yeah, I don't want these, Joe. You can have them. All right, let's take a look at these. Yeah, these don't taste like Oreos. These aren't very good. Sorry, I taste terrible apparently. Then we have a section I'm really excited for, which is the frozen dessert section. We'll start with these, which are Oreo ice creams with an Oreo cookie coating. Ooh. Mm. It's not the best ice cream I've ever had. It's very sweet and a bit like foamy. Okay, the cone's pretty good. I'd say this would maybe get better the more you go down. I think less of the ice cream on the top and more of the cone. The next ice cream option is this one, which is the Oreo ice cream with Oreo biscuit pieces. In the UK, we can also just get a tub of Oreo branded ice cream. Now, ones which I've had before and can tell from experience are very good are these ones, which are the Oreo ice cream sandwiches. Hmm. Then we're back to the Cadbury partnership with these Cadbury coated stick sandwiches. Our Oreo desserts in the US include Breyer's Oreo Chips Ahoy ice cream and Friendly's Oreo Cookies ice cream cake. What? See, this is a good dessert combo. This makes sense, you're adding the Oreos to an existing thing. Wow. Oh, ice cream cakes are always so hard to cut. Cake. <gasps> Ta-da. And we weren't able to get these, but there's also Klondike Oreo ice cream sandwiches 
Good Humor Oreo ice cream bars, and Good Humor Oreo cones. Then we have a bunch of exclusive chocolate options, which are again mostly Cadbury. This one is a Dairy Milk Oreo sandwich. This one is also available in the form of Cadbury Bites, which is just bite-sized pieces of their chocolate bars. Then we're on to the one in the middle, which is the Cadbury Big Taste Oreo Crunch Bar. If milk chocolate isn't your thing, then they also have a Cadbury Oreo White Chocolate Bar. Our final chocolate bar is this one, which is a Oreo Milka Max chocolate bar. Milka is just a slightly different chocolate brand here in the UK. Then we have a couple of options for baked goods, including this Oreo muffin and this Oreo donut. I mean, if that counts as a filling, again, a little bit underwhelming. <laughs> there you go. I know I ate that from the bottom like a psychopath. I don't do that all the time. Yeah. This end bit looks slightly filled. They put it on the box. It's supposed to look like this. It's what you call false advertising. If you're gonna go for one of these, probably go for the muffin. Then we have a couple more miscellaneous products just to round out. Here are our miscellaneous Oreo items. We have the ready to bake pie crust, and then the instant pudding pie filling mix, which is cookies and cream flavored. So these go together. This is the no bake Oreo dessert kit, which is basically these two items in a box. The first one is this, which is a Cadbury Oreo hot chocolate powder. Now I'm fascinated by this one because when I was buying it on the website, it had like loads of one star reviews saying it tasted horrible. So obviously we now have to try it. I'm gonna use my colleague Charlie's wonderful mug, uh, which I think he got in a charity shop, which is celebrating the marriage of a couple who we, um, we don't know. Vicky and Wumi, if you're watching this, I hope you had a happy marriage. Four heaped teaspoons of the powder into your boiling water, which is what I have in here. And we should end up with a delicious Oreo flavored hot chocolate. So let's go. Now I'm just gonna stir for about 40 minutes and then uh, see what we end up with. In the US, we see millions of cyber threats each year. That rate is increasing. Next level moments need the next level network. As cyber huh. criminals. The network with 24 7 built in security. ATT Business. Protect me, Buki and Wumi. Hmm. <laughs> Wow, okay. Um, the immediate taste you get is chocolate, which you expect, but then like a second after every sip, something just kind of punches you in the face and it's not very pleasant. Moving swiftly on from the hot chocolate, we have this, which is an Oreo split pot yogurt. Yes, it's pronounced yogurt, not yogurt. Get it right. Do Americans have Miller Corners? Because I ate those all the time growing up in the UK and this is the exact style they've gone for. Basically, it's like a split pot thing where half of it is yogurt and then a little corner of it is a topping of some kind. The idea then being that you just crack this and deposit all the toppings in. This really does take me back. I would have some kind of Miller Corner in like most of my packed lunches when I was in primary school. That's really tasty. And then last but by no means least, we have these, which are Oreo O's. Now it's an Oreo themed breakfast cereal and it comes with these chocolatey loops and then some vanilla flavored discs. We have the Oreo cereal and these look like the UK version, but without the white puffs. And then we also have Funfetti brownie mix, cake mix, and frosting with Oreo pieces. And lastly, these are the Oreos Handy Snacks, Oreo Cookie Sticks and Cream. Oh my God, no, these look like, you know those cheese and cracker snacks? This looks like the Oreo version. Oh my God. Oh, it looks disgusting. There's like a pool of like oil or something right there. Here are all the ingredients in a classic Oreo in the UK. That makes a total of at least 18 ingredients, possibly more if multiple flavorings are used. Here are all the ingredients in a classic Oreo in the US. Well. That comes to a total of at least 17 ingredients, again, dependent on the flavorings used. So a UK Oreo actually contains more ingredients than a US Oreo. The UK has a few ingredients not found in the US. Take sunflower lecithin, which they use in addition to soy lecithin. Some people prefer to use sunflower lecithin as it's extracted naturally via cold pressing, whereas soy lecithin tends to be extracted using chemicals such as acetone, like a nail polish remover. <laughs> Soybeans are also more commonly genetically modified than sunflowers, and concerns over this have also driven people away from soy and towards sunflower as their preferred source of lecithin. In the US, we use high fructose corn syrup in our Oreos, compared to the UK's glucose and fructose syrup. You'll see this in a lot of American products as it's a cheaper alternative to actual sugar, as a result of the US producing a huge amount of corn and tariffs on imported sugar. There's limited evidence to suggest that high fructose corn syrup is worse for you than normal sugar. Nations which use it tend to have higher rates of type 2 diabetes than those that don't. What about Oreos with some more controversial Controversial ingredients, like birthday cake, for example. In the UK, we actually call those birthday party Oreos, but they are effectively the same thing. In the UK, we color the sprinkles with spirulina extract, red beet juice, and turmeric extract. 
whereas in the US, we color our sprinkles with yellow 5, blue 1, red 40, and red 3. Fans of Food Wars will recognize yellow 5 and red 40 as two food colorings not often seen in the UK. If they are used in the UK, manufacturers have to add a warning that they may have an adverse effect on activity and attention in children. We, we love our artificial and a potentially dangerous food colorings over here. Red 3 is actually one I don't think we've seen before on Food Wars. It's otherwise known as erythrazine and it's a dye used to give foods a reddish pink color. It's not commonly used in the US with manufacturers usually opting for a red 40 and Instead. The reason for its low popularity is its association with certain health effects. It was partially banned in the US in 1990 after research showed that it caused cancer in rats. Its use is restricted in the European Union due to the same concerns. While the European Food Safety Authority did say that humans weren't at quite the same risk of tumours that rats were, they still set a limit of 0.01 milligrams per kilogram of body weight per day for human consumption. As a result, the only food that Red 3 can be used in in the EU is candied cherries. It's not banned in the US, but it is restricted. It can be added to foods, but it can't be put in cosmetics or external drugs. So you can put it in your body, but not on your body. <laughs> Other things to look out for in the US include the carrot cake Oreos, which contain caramel color. According to the state of California, a byproduct of this can cause cancer, birth defects, or other reproductive harm. The UK's Oreo is actually healthier in every metric other than saturated fat, where the two are tied. Classic Oreos aren't too unhealthy, except for the sugar content. You would only have to eat 11 US Oreos to hit your entire daily sugar allowance, which is just under a third of your daily calories. What about the least healthy Oreo in each country? One in the UK, it's the Cadbury Coated Oreo. Here's the nutritional information for just one of them. If you eat just five of these, you consume 98% of your daily sugar and 55% of your daily saturated fat. And I'm pretty sure if I started eating these, I would be eating more than five. Our least healthy Oreo? It's the fudge covered dark chocolate Oreo. Five of these cookies will be 110% of your daily sugar allowance, as well as 112.5% of your daily saturated fat. I don't know if I want to eat these. These are aggressive. I feel like Joe could probably eat like the entire box. I'll try one. <laughs> it says mmm. I don't feel mmm. <laughs> Just we don't need to cover everything with chocolate. <sighs> Something about this seems wrong. Also, it's good. It's very chocolatey. It is. Oh my god, the filling is chocolate too. Joe can have these. Joe, you can eat these. Irene, I don't want those. Don't send them over here. Off to LA. Ah, there. No thanks. Well, the monster, the monster one was eleven double steps. That's like twenty. That's literally twenty-two cookies, surely. And then I had at least three or four, and I took several bites of others. So I have had at least thirty to forty cookies if you do the math, honestly. And then you add that I didn't eat breakfast, and then you add that I'm in the midst of like five mental breakdowns, and so we are in an interesting place. Just gonna roll away. <laughs> In the U.S., we see millions of cyber threats each year. That rate is increasing. Next level moments need the Next Level Network. As cyber criminals... The network with 24-7 built-in security. AT&T Business. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between movie theater food at AMC and Odeon movie theaters in the U.K. and the U.S. This is Food Wars. It might seem like Odeon and AMC are different chains, however they're actually owned by the same company. So let's compare. Popcorn at a UK Odeon cinema comes in four sizes. There's a kids, regular, medium, and large. Classic popcorn at a US AMC comes in three sizes, small, regular, large. And of course, if you want to get a to-go option, they have the AMC Mega Bag. Boom! That's three times the size of the standard large. Let's weigh a large salted popcorn in both countries to see whose large is bigger. So our large salted popcorn has actually, I think, come to 204 grams, which is about 30 grams more than we were supposed to get. 194 grams of popcorn. Avatar, haven't seen it. And for my own morbid curiosity, so I'm gonna weigh it in the bag. I don't know, just subtract like two grams. How much could the bag weigh? This? Yeah. Uh -huh. 620 grams. Drinks at a US AMC theater come in three sizes. Small, 20 fluid ounces, 
regular 32 fluid ounces and the large Avatar 44 fluid ounces. Now, shockingly, our drinks in the UK are actually just as big as the US ones for once. Cinemas, I think, are the only place in the UK where you can get a drink of this size. The thought of getting one of these from a fast food place in the UK is absolutely unheard of. Let's measure out the large in both countries to see if we're getting as much as we've been promised. Wow, it's pretty close. What was it supposed to be, 44? By my calculations, they've pretty much nailed bang on the 40 ounce line. So you're maybe not getting quite as much as you were promised. Admittedly, we did lose a little bit in transit and also a little splash just on the table there. So maybe you could round it up generously to like 41, 42, which honestly, even if it's slightly less than you're being promised, I think we can forgive them. Certainly we can't fault James Cameron for this. Certainly we can't blame the Navi of Pandora. In the U.S., we see millions of cyber threats each year. That rate is increasing. Next level moments need the Next Level Network. As cyber huh. criminals... The network with 24-7 built-in security. AT&T Business. We also have ice drinks, which are the iconic Tango Ice Blasts. We have them in three sizes. A regular, a medium, and a large. Tango Ice Blasts are amazing. They have a bit of a cult following in the UK, I think, like cinema goers over here really, really love these. You can get them usually in two flavors, which are red and blue. I don't know exactly what they're supposed to taste of. It's kind of just like tangy food coloring anyway. They're not supposed to look like this, as you can probably tell. These have just been sat out under the studio lights for a while. Here's what they're supposed to look like. You can also get ice beverages at the USAMC, primarily in the form of an icy. And they come in three sizes normally, but not the AMC we went to, they only had regular. It should be a small 20 fluid ounce. The regular Avatar Way of the Water Navi colored drink here is a 32 fluid ounce. And of course, the large is a 44 fluid ounce. I think that's the exact same size as the soft drinks we just had. I would like to request, I don't know how hard this is gonna be if Yuli and the rest of the post-production team can make it look like I'm in the underwater Avatar <laughs> with like me just swimming with the Navi, right? We I'm in the movie. How hard would that be? Can you make it 3D as well? That's pretty easy, right? Can you have that done by end of day Friday? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when I'm swimming around with Jake Sully. <laughs> Here is everything you'll find at a UK Odeon cinema that you won't find in an AMC. Here's everything at a US AMC you won't find at an Odeon. We'll start with the classic, which is popcorn. In the UK, it comes in two flavors, as salted or sweet. You can also ask them to mix them together for you. Salt and sweet, excellent contrast. You won't find butter popcorn anywhere on the menu in the UK. The fact that you guys are putting melted butter on popcorn, extremely weird to us, stop doing that. In the US, a popcorn obviously comes plain or salted, but we also have butter popcorn. And yes, Harry, we like to put melted butter all over our popcorn. Two things I wanna know, one, it's almost always referred to as butter flavored topping. Presumably because they can't legally call it butter, or maybe there's just other junk in there and it isn't officially butter. In America, there's just some people who are so nuts about the butter. AMC now has something, I don't know if this is to go, or you get this in the theater, where they give you, no joke, this thing of butter on the side to take into the theater with you. Because there's so much butter flavored topping drama in the US, AMC was like, here, just take this and go to go do it yourself. Oh. oh, look at that. You see that? You see that? Oh, yeah. I want you, I want you to pay attention. Now, imagine I'm eating this in the dark. Oh, I like my butter so much. Oh, it's in my hands. This is like the messiest snack in the world. I never get butter in my popcorn. This is so gross. Yeah, it doesn't actually taste that much like butter. It has like a buttery flavor to it. Yeah, it's oh, definitely nice. flavored butter. That's not melted butter. You can also get sweets as a topping on your popcorn in the UK. This comes in the form of Cadbury's Dairy Milk Buttons, as Smarties, Kit Kats, and Rolos. Speaking of popcorn, you can also get cheddar popcorn, which is, I don't know if this is just not your theaters, really popular in the UK at all, but it's popcorn that is tossed in like cheese dust. And also caramel corn, which is popcorn, you guessed it, encased and caramel. There's a range of hot food options at a UK Odeon cinema, including the following. Firstly, we have the iconic cinema hot dog. Now, obviously you guys have hot dogs in America. However, it's an exclusive because ours is a pork sausage, while yours, I think, is beef. That looks real sad. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, hot dog, yay! That's a pretty good sized hot dog, right? Movie theater hot dogs for some reason are really good. You ever notice that? Movie theaters and ball games. That's where the hot dog's the absolute best. Next up, we have two pizza options at UK Odeon Cinemas. You can get a cheese pizza or a pepperoni pizza. I haven't even opened them and I'm losing my mind because this is how they've been packaged and presented to us. In the US, we see millions of cyber threats each year. That rate is increasing. Next level moments need the next level network. As cyber huh. The network with 24 seven built in security. AT&T Business. What is that? <laughs> um, I'm slightly at a loss for words. I might be giving them too much credit here. I think maybe if this were fresh out of the oven, which obviously this is not, it actually might be okay. But there's a reason why pizza boxes exist, for example. Maybe look into that in future. I'm just imagining any Italian viewers watching this and just crying. You guys look at flatbread pizzas. The AMC I went to did not currently have them because they went there right when they opened. They weren't ready yet. But you can get also a four cheese, a pepperoni, or a supreme flatbed pizza. You can also get yourself curly fries. Now we're talking. Curly fries, right? Mmm. The Impossible Nuggets. Oh, yes. For some reason, I picked the marinara. Let's do it. Who doesn't want to eat fake deep fried meat and dip it in a red sauce? In a, in, a, in a pitch dark theater. Nope. Oh, wow. Those are really bad. We have pretzel bites at our AMC, but you can get them unsalted with cheese, salted with cheese, which I got, garlic parmesan with cheese, everything bagel with cheese, and cinnamon sugar with icing. They don't taste bad, but they're really chewy. You're gonna want those right out of the oven or the microwave. You can also get a Bavarian legend pretzel. The theater we went to did not have them at the time of filming this. At a UK Odeon, you can get triple dip nachos, which are tortilla chips, which come with guacamole, salsa, and I think a cheese sauce. This is how it came. What we have is just a bag of plain tortilla chips and a box labeled dips. We have the cheese sauce. We have some very vibrant guacamole like someone blended up Shrek. We have some tomato salsa, jalapenos. I think this was onion and chive dip, maybe. I feel like I have to try and assemble these somehow. I wanna do it in a way, but hopefully you guys can uh, join me along for the ride, because it could be interesting. I wanna try and get some like layerage going on there, if possible. Oh God. <laughs> oh no, that's the... Okay, I thought that all came out as one brick, but there were actually two pots in there. Thank God. Go on. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Queso. Okay, now we're gonna hit it with some salsa. Personally, I think this has gone sensationally well. This is, this is nachos right here. Some people might say, Harry, do you want to heat these up? I'd say no. Yeah. Doesn't need it. Perfect the way they are. Oh, oh, man, look at the colour on this. Do you order nachos when you go to cinema? No. My mum used to like the nachos. Yeah. She's not dead. Right. I haven't been to the cinema with her in a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Uh, yeah? They don't look terrible, right? Absolutely disgraceful. I don't know what's going on in that island of yours, but your nachos, thumbs down. I would say pretty generous with the chips. Not bad, right? These are UK level nachos right here. I don't know who is like, oh yeah, perfect. This is exactly what I think nachos are. Did they make a mistake? Did I look at this right? They gave us a thing of marinara sauce. I'm assuming this marinara was supposed to be salsa. Can you imagine? Cause you just get this and go to the theater in the dark. You get watching a movie. Oh man, man, this salsa sure isn't very chunky. Oh well, man, I cannot wait to eat these nachos. Oh, I'm so worried about the tree of life, Avatar 2. Oh, no. Oh. Like, what the hell? It's so bad, it's like oddly alluring. Does that make sense? This is terrible. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do everyone a favor and throw this out. 
In the U.S., we see millions of cyber threats each year. That rate is increasing. Next level moments need the next level network. As cyber huh. criminals, the network with 24/7 built-in security, AT&T Business. Yuck. Then we're onto the sides. We have a couple of side options in the UK that you won't find in the US. Unfortunately, one of them we couldn't find today, which are crisper fries, which are kind of like very thin slices of potato, which are fried. However, we could get our hands on these chicken strips, which are actually pretty good. Technically also included on the sides menu are the dips. So that includes basically everything that you would normally find on the nachos, including the side of jalapenos, the salsa dip, the cheese, the guacamole, and this cream cheese garlic and herb dip. We have one prepackaged popcorn option if you don't fancy the fresh stuff, which is this. Buttercust toffee popcorn. I think this is kind of more similar to what you guys might expect from like caramel corn in the US. It's basically popcorn, but with an actual coating of this kind of like sugary syrupy stuff. Now the AMC has a bunch of snack options that you won't find in the UK, starting with these known as lifestyle snacks. I'm assuming they're meant to be a little bit healthier. Starting all the way down here, you have the planters sweet and salty trail mix, grass-fed beef jerky, courtesy of Country Archer. I don't know about this, rhythm, organic, white cheddar, cauliflower bites. No thanks. Home-free chocolate chip cookies. You got uh, only three grams of sugar for the smart and sweet watermelon bites. Mango sweet and tangy super snacks, dried mangoes, and uh, skinny dipped dark chocolate almonds. In addition to the popcorn, we also have some sweets and chocolates, which I will go through now. Wine gums. Do you guys have wine gums in the US? I really like these. They're a bit of an old person sweet. I still don't know exactly why they're called wine gums because I don't think they have wine in them. On top of the gummies themselves, they will have like the name of a wine kind of stamped on and they're different colors. The flavors change according to the color. Red one's always the best, of course. A couple of uh, Cadbury dairy milk options. We have some Cadbury caramel dairy milk nibbles, dairy milk giant buttons, galaxy minstrels. So in the UK, we have Dairy Milk, which is owned by Cadbury, and then the Mars Corporation has their own brand of milk chocolate, which is called Galaxy. And this is basically Galaxy chocolate with a hard shell on the outside. These honestly are really good. Cadbury 12 Bites. It's Cadbury Dairy Milk chocolate, and it's kind of got this weird like swirled texture on the inside. So it lends itself to being quite like a flaky and almost like melt in your mouth chocolate bar. They're pretty good. Aero Peppermint Bubbles. It's got this weird like aerated texture in the middle, which is designed basically to melt in your mouth when you eat it. Milky Bar Buttons. I loved Milky Bar as a kid. It's basically white chocolate, which I used to love when I was younger. I think as my palate has kind of evolved as I've gotten older, I don't really tolerate white chocolate like I used to, but these are great, bit of a nostalgia factor. And the last one we found today was Maltesers. I love a Malteser. I still don't fully understand what they are, to be honest. What is the middle bit? It's not honeycomb, but it's got like a crunchy, almost honeycomb texture. Now it's not a pre-packaged option, but it is a sweet option. We have pick and mix cups in the UK. Pick and mix is like a really iconic British thing, I think. It's basically this notion of you go into a sweet shop, or in this case, a cinema, and they'll have lots of different pots or tubs of individual candies. And you can go in with a scoop, scoop a few, put them in and create your own mixture of them. So if there's one particular one that you love, you can just have a cup full of that, or you can go for some variety, mix it up a little bit like we've done today. The issue is when you're layering it, you end up just going one layer of thing at a time. I haven't assembled this very well. Couldn't get everything. Just grabbed a bunch of stuff that I thought looked pretty good. Also, I think some classics here. Milk Duds, Junior Mints, the big box. Mini Snickers, hey. Skittles. My teeth are already starting to hurt. Butterfingers Unwrapped Minis. And Sour Patch Kids. And also Airhead Extremes. This, of course, just the tip of the iceberg. You can get so, so many candies at an AMC. Eh, this many. You can also get a Ben & Jerry's milkshake. What they do is they let you choose three scoops of ice cream of your choosing, and then pretty much just blend them together to create a milkshake. Also in the US, we have ice cream you can't get in the UK. You can get yourself a Dibs Crunch, a haagen Bar Almond, a Nestle Tollhouse ice cream sandwich, and a Nestle's drumstick. The other soft drink exclusives are actually aimed more at children. We have some fruit shoots come either as this one, which is apple and blackcurrant, or as orange. It's just kind of like a bottle of squash, and for the Americans who might not know what squash is, uh, does cordial help at all? You get like a concentrated juice and then dilute it with water to produce basically this. The main event as far as I'm concerned when it comes to drinks are these ones, which are the alcoholic options. You can get alcohol at UK cinemas. We got a few of the things on offer today, and these include this recorder leg, strawberry and lime cider. We have a bottle of Heineken beer. We have some wine options. Got a little bottle of red here. 
It's really cute. It's literally just like they've taken a full-size bottle of red and just squished it and scaled it down. You can also get white wine and I think rosé wine as well. Or if you're in a celebratory mood, you get a little bottle of Prosecco. Then we have some pre-mixed cocktail options. Today we got a classic G&T and a Jack and Coke. What about the beverages? In the US, we have so, so many beverages, starting with the Coke Freestyle, the Freestyle Machine. You've seen it before. It has all of these flavors. I wasn't getting one of each. You can also get a Gold Peak unsweetened iced tea, which they did not have, a Gold Peak sweet tea, which they also did not have, a Minimated orange juice, and Minimated apple juice, chocolate milk, Dasani water, Smart water, and a Costa coffee. I also didn't have that. I could really go for some coffee. I've been told that it is interesting that we can get Costa Coffee here. It is actually a British coffee chain, but it was bought by Coca-Cola in 2019 for almost 4 billion pounds and has now begun expanding into the U.S. In the U.S., we see millions of cyber threats each year. That rate is increasing. Next level moments need the next level network. Cyber the network with 24-7 built-in security. AT&T Business. A large salted popcorn at a UK Odeon contains the following. 863 calories, 48.37 grams of fat, of which 37.84 grams are saturated, 92.18 grams of carbs, of which 5.94 grams are sugars, and an unknown amount of sodium. Unfortunately, the website didn't have the sodium information. I did reach out via the live chat function and the guy said they didn't know what had gone on. He was gonna look into it for me, but I did not hear back. A regular plain popcorn popped in canola oil is 550 calories, 24 grams of fat, two grams of saturated fat, 74 carbs, 1,380 milligrams of sodium. The same size popcorn, but this time cooked in coconut oil, 540 calories, 24 grams of fat, 17 grams of saturated fat, 74 grams of carbs, and 1,380 milligrams of sodium. Now, there are no stats for the butter flavor topping, which is a bit concerning, but if you add butter and salt to pretzel bites, it adds 100 calories and 12 grams of fat, 7 grams of saturated fat, 300 milligrams of sodium. Adding that same amount of butter to this large Avatar way of the water popcorn, which is cooked in canola oil, you get 970 calories, 51 grams of fat, 10 grams of saturated fat, <laughs> popcorn in my throat, 117 carbs, of which one gram is sugars, and 2,450 milligrams of sodium. Same exact size of popcorn, but this time cooked in coconut oil and the butter topping from before. That's 960 calories, 50 grams of total fat, 35 grams of saturated fat, 117 carbs, of which one gram of that is sugars, and the sodium, 2,450 milligrams. People of the internet, canola oil has slightly more calories, but way less saturated fat. Huzzah. A large sweet popcorn in the UK contains the following. 1,790 calories, 73.08 grams of fat, of which 55 grams are saturated, 253 grams of carbs, of which 84.04 grams are sugars, and again, an unknown amount of sodium. Mmm, gotta watch out for the caramel corn, Yulia. This caramel corn in this size bucket, 1,620 calories, 64 grams of fat, 21 of those are saturated fat, 510 grams of carbs, and of that, 404 of those grams are sugar and 3,190 milligrams of sodium. Now, the large cheddar corn seen here, 1,620 calories. 144 total grams of fat, 21 of those are saturated, 68 grams of carbs, and 2,470 milligrams of sodium. Yeesh. What about the most calorific thing on the UK menu? Well, that would be a large sweet popcorn with the topping option of Dairy Milk Giant Buttons. This combination would come to a total of 2,004 calories, 85.08 grams of fat, 62.2 grams of saturated fat, 275.8 grams of carbs, of which 106.44 grams are sugars. That is just over 100% of your daily calories, 109% of your daily fat, 311% of your daily saturates, and 212% of your daily sugar. Jeez. <laughs> so in the US, our AMC menus vary. I did find a PDF that had a bunch of stuff listed on here. I don't know how common it is, 
at AMC's, but it is the Bavarian Legend Pretzel with the cheese cup and mustard. That pretzel and mustard and cheese total is 1,920 calories. One thing I wanted to point out is that 7,600 milligrams of sodium. That is 330.4% of your daily sodium intake. Hey, don't eat that pretzel. Hey, everybody. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, okay, Yuli's gonna try and land one in my mouth. If she chips a tooth, okay, she's gonna have to pay for it. Ready to go. <laughs> Bro. In the US, we see millions of cyber threats each year. That rate is increasing. Next level moments need the next level network. As cyber huh. The network with 24 7 built in security. ATT Business. really push back on it. But our menu specifically has, you can get an individual piece of chicken, you get a drumstick, a thigh, or a breast. You get chicken in this hand, famous bull in this hand, and walk right in the trap. Sauce talk, let's go! Discorso delle salse. In Italy, we have some exclusive sauces, starting from the original. I know you guys in the US have the KFC sauce. Does this look similar? I think if I were making sauces, I would have just continued, you know, trialing others after this one. <laughs> yeah, it's like a mayo-y barbecue ketchup. And then we have the smoky barbecue sauce. And then we have the sweet imperial sauce, that's a sweet and sour sauce. Very lemony, but fresh. Yeah, it's a nice one, I like this. Then move on to the too hot for you, <laughs> jelly-like. It's not too hot for you, it's just too bad for me. <laughs> Moving on, we also have garlic sauce. I know you guys associate Italy and Italian cuisine with garlic. Please stop doing that. We don't really like it. <laughs> then we have a fresh pepper one. This one apparently contains cheese. Tastes like not much, to be honest. We also have creamy curry. Finally, we couldn't get the only olive oil, but we do have olive oil and white vinegar and olive oil and uh, balsamic vinegar. I don't know if you want to consider olive oil a sauce. I have like mixed feeling about it because that's definitely more dressing. Are you curious to see how chicken olive oil tastes like? Let's try it. Olive oil and balsamic vinegar, let's see. Kind of brought it back to life a little bit because it had cooled down. Yeah, I should do this more often actually. It tastes less fried for some reason because I always associate olive oil with like grilled chicken. So if you want to, you know, trick your mind into thinking that you're eating grilled chicken and not fried, maybe all you have to do is pour some olive oil on it. Honey mustard, honey barbecue. Yeah, it's good. Buffalo ranch. If you are unaware, we have a sauce here that usually is on wings called the buffalo sauce. It's like a uh, vinegary hot sauce that is a, li a little north of mild. And the reason that buffalo ranch is a thing is because when you eat buffalo wings and they're spicy, you dip the wings in ranch, a second sauce, to cool it down. So we as Americans are used to pairing buffalo sauce on the wings with ranch dressing. So they were like, let's just put it in one. Because God forbid, you have two sauces, but you want to have just regular ranch. Everyone on the internet, come at me, all right? Ranch is just okay. It all tastes the same. Also, we have a hot sauce, a honey sauce. We have a lot of dessert options here in Italy. Most of them are just ice cream. We start from a plain ice cream cone. Then you can get sundaes. They come plain, caramel flavor, Nutella, strawberry, and chocolate. And then we have these, the cream balls. They come with Nutella flavor, caramel, strawberry, and chocolate. They're kind of similar to a sundae, but they have that, this crunchy bottom. And apparently the caramel one is supposed to have lots of layers. This is the caramel one, but <laughs> I'm not sure we can judge the number of layers because it has absolutely melted. So we got a Nutella cream ball and a caramel one. Uh, you know those like backpacks for cats? I think it's like the same thing here. <laughs> Curious about the crunchy bottom. Oh, yeah, that is crunchy. Actually, it reminds me a little bit of, you know, the Algida, the Cornetto. It may have another name in the US, and uh, they have that 
crunchy bit at the bottom. I mean, for us Italian, Nutella is like DOG chocolate. Before chocolate always comes Nutella. Just no questions asked. It's always been like this. And before cream as well. Uh, the only exclusive dessert option we have in America is this, a chocolate cake. And it just occurred to me, I've actually never had this cake. Let's see how we did. Perfect. Cooked beautifully. It's got the right amount of bounce. Isn't dried out. And now we taste it. Exquisite. You keep baking like that, you can win this competition. I'm, I was started up as Gordon Ramsay. Every impression I do of anyone is just kind of that. This is actually pretty good. Yeah, they had those uh, those those balls, those, uh, those cream balls, which is a kind of a weird thing to call it. No, I don't want any of those. I get it, I like dessert just as much as the next guy, but KFC, I wanna load up on fried chicken, I wanna load up on mac and cheese, I wanna load up on mashed potatoes, I wanna load up on corn. If only someone could put it all in one bowl for me. Dessert, no, I wanna eat fried chicken and tell about the burst and then I'm out, so. The exclusive drinks in Italy are 7-Up, Lipton iced tea, and beer. Found drinks you can get in the US. We do have a bunch of exclusives. I didn't get every single one, relax. All right, starting down here, sweet tea. Oh yeah, they're lemonade. It's really good, it's addictive. And our lemonade is not carbonated, it's still. Terry. Mountain Dew, it's fantastic. No, and the reason I saved this one for last is something you can get. Bigger. Exclusively, yes, at the tell KFC me your oops. in the tell US. Me your oops Mountain Dew, of Sweet Lightning. Whenever it's so somebody good. Like, says, you know, it's like super sweet and super chemical but I love it. Other drinks you can get at a US Oops. KFC that we not get never, was ever, ever Starry a good idea. and Blackberry, Hi. which is currently It's never our ended well. In the US, we see millions of cyber threats each year. That rate is increasing. Next level moments need the next level network. This is the greatest spill of my life! I'm king of the world! Woohoo! Woohoo! I. Ah. Oh. 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 What did I just say to everybody? It's never a good idea to tell me to check my Twitch DMs. Book day! Welcome on in. How are you going, book day? Welcome to the competition. All right. Okay, you wanna know why that guy got banned? Nothing good ever comes from this. Wanna make $450? Just asking if anyone is down. It's nothing bad. Hey. Come on, we all know where that ends up. We all know where that ends up. <laughs> yeah, it's a Twitch whisper. Thank you for, for the counter. Um, you whisper, a Twitch whisper. You can whisper to them. All right, I should have sent them your way. I should have totally sent them your way. All right, Damo, I'll let you get your song choice in and then we will start up. Thank you for updating the band count. $400 for a kidney is pretty nice. No, if I'm selling my kidney, I want to sell it for at least 40 grand. I'm selling oh, it on the black market. Be 40 grand for a kidney. I ain't getting surgery for 400 bucks. I'll put Cyric in surgery and I'll gain the $400 instead. <laughs> Just sell pics of your body to them. Just an easy 450. That's what they wanted. That's what they wanted. I am not selling my body. My body got sold enough on Twitch. I don't need like a side hustle of selling my body. <laughs> ah, awesome. I'm glad to hear that you are going all right. Yes, book day. I did ask how you were going. Would you like to come and join in for some lots of music? We're just about to start off this category. All right, Ben's getting that 450. Go get that 450, hey. Ben. Go, go do it. <laughs> uh, all right, let's start up this round. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. It is songs from Disney, Pixar, or DreamWorks this round. Oh. Hey, what's up? Ah. Oh. How you doing? There we go. Good song choice. I'm out of work today. I was just putting tech cooking off. <laughs> you got genetic conditions. Yours are 50% to be inferior. Oh, I'll get 
225 bucks for your uh, kidneys, Eric. <laughs> oh, of course. I don't mind uh, non-English songs. That is all good. Um, as long as they still fit the theme. Because we have a wheel spinning. And as long as they fit the theme of wheel spinning and we can somewhat guess them. But I also have a Eurovision round. So that works. Uh, yeah. There we go. I had my internet volume up in my headset at like 150%. No wonder why I couldn't figure that out. <laughs> Excellent. You were so close. You were so close. Life is a highway. Yeah, that was from Cars. Excellent. I, I don't know what that means, Ocean Sick. Fingers like snakes and spiders in my hair. I know who Bakugo is, but I don't know. Ah! In this town we call home, everyone hail to the pumpkin song. I'm just very confused, Ocean Sick, about what you've just, uh, just written. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> you usually use What's the Music to introduce new songs? That is always a great way to go about it. We use What's the Music over here to introduce new songs, to vibe with each other, just to have a fun party. We use this as our party nights. We've had a long, long night, well, a long week, and this is our kickback for last night. Ah. Bad stuff. Such a long time. Here we go, GG's. The pressure proved too strong. I'd love to see the shots. Surely there it is. Gus with six. That 2v2 felt like Chief should have scored so many times. It was that first goal from Caleb that put a lot of pressure on us. As somehow Hunter, after not playing for three and a half minutes, nearly had more points than Superlocky. <laughs> That's an impressive game. Something you don't see when you check out the Octane GG stats is how long spent AFK bumper to bumper with another car whilst still scoring pretty well in a game. We're moving on to game number four again. Best of seven. Chiefs can take this. It had put a lot of pressure on that Gremlins outfit. Elderly Goat says, I feel like CJ could still make a comeback and own this region. Truer words have never been spoken. <laughs> My reflexes are still intact. The copium is strong. Here we go. Game number four. WH, you're joking. Production. I cannot apologize anymore. Reset. There will not be a goal while ads are on. I will make sure of it. Is there any game number four? You guys see the scoreline. 2 under the Chiefs. It's Colbo works on the way Super long. You've got to control this one. It's a nice 50. Leaves it for Hunter. Gus should be able to clean up. Keeps it in the corner. Gets 1 2. Fakes the pop over. Super lucky. Finding Gus downfield. No boost to work with. It's Cobo controlling it in the corner. No super lucky. Some of that touch is good set up here as Gus does force a hit. Hunter looking for a clear. Misses the bang. There are them. This is awkward now for the Chiefs as Super Lucky does really well. Caleb, not the best touch for the Gremlins. Demo's coming through. One, two, three. Oh, almost. Hang on. Probably not a realistic angle. Gus trying to get the pass to work. A minute gone here in game number four. No score. Yeah. 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 I play left of zero. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm really slow. Top left zero. I'm not back. Yeah, you get out. Gus. Cool. 
20 behind the center. We have one, I'm zero. Yeah, you get one. Good, good. Is there a boost still? I would shoot Rask over. You know? I get it, I get it. It's all. I'll try to kill. 50, 50, 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. One there, one there, one there, one there. I have to do a shot. I got one. You know? He's on. Just use mine? You beat. Yeah, okay. 40 boost. I got one. 40. 40. You know? He's up. One up. I'm talking mid right. You're taking. I'm behind you now. I'll get back to you. I got it. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. You go. I'm 20. Go again. He's on. He's on. He's 20. He's fine. I'll turn. He's up. He's up. Yeah, double, 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 double. Yeah. Yeah. I'm mid level. No! Yeah. Super Loggy puts it on! Free double midfield. Hunter finds the pass across off the 50. Super Loggy top bids free all day. Chiefs take the first in game four. OCE action. I'll tell you what. This region is leveling up. Short is for the ride, baby. Yeah, you might bang it. Yeah, I gotta go deep, gotta go deep. Yes, sir. Back right full. I'm back right full. I'll go first. Yeah, you can actually get it. Son, I'm passive. I'm, I'm, I'm passive. Net. He missed. Still passive. Ah, I'll try. Got it, got it. You? Yeah, yeah, I'm net. Hold it. I'm tired. I'll do it. That's all. Nice good job. I'll go. Yeah, okay. Thank you. I'll go back right. I'll go back to full. Nice time. Behind your load. One on one. Yeah, yeah. I'll go. Come on. One up, win. Good. He beats him. Yeah, yeah, you can let him win. Oh, right. You turn. Well, they're very full. Right side, third. I have to wait. You turn. Okay, okay. 50. I'll try double. Yeah, yeah. They're right full. You know? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, he's on. He's not diving. Grab mid left, Hunter. He's on. I'm full this. Left, left. He's on, he's on. I'm back first now, full. Nice, I'll just bomb. Two on. Two on. He's on. I'm full back first. Yeah, go, go. Plenty mid. Third, third. Yeah, full boost. Faking. I'm letting him hit you. Touch. Go again, go again. I'm mid left, go again. I'm full. He's all good. One on one on one on one. I'm out. You next on top there. Big left. I'm full. 40. Touch left. Yeah. He's on. Okay. Free free boost. You free, 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 free. Should I shoot it? I'm low. You free shot. Free shot. I'm zero. He has free. I'm low. One's one to over you. He's there. I'm not back. I'm not back. Mid left full. Nice behind you now. He's up. He's up. Over him. Over him. 50 to shoot. Free. Free. He's on again. On again. Free. There you go. Yeah. I got it. I'm back left low, back left low. I'm zero. You? I'm grabbing mid right. I'm zero. He's on early. I'll charge fast. I'm zero. Can't. Yeah, 12 behind you now. I'm low base. Face up. 30 base. Nice. Mid left. You first up. I'm zero. 30 base. Nice. Mid left. You first up. I'm zero. 30 base. Nice. Mid left. You first up. I'm zero. 30 base. Nice. Mid left. You first up. I'm zero. 30 base. Nice. Mid left. You first up. I'm zero. 30 base. Nice. Mid left. You first up. I'm zero. 30 base. Nice. Mid left. You first up. I'm zero. 30 base. Nice. Mid left. He's on. One nice foot. Touch. Oh, Back right. Do you shot? Third. 30 bits. Free shot. 40. Yeah. Like he's down. Behind 40. You. He's down. Yeah. Okay, I'll go. Minute left here. Chiefs pushing forward. Ooh. Could have had another goal just there. We're trying to find some 50s. We have had a lot of pressure. I'm loving the comms. Their positioning. As Cobos. Very awkward. He's handed to Gus. Good. Yeah, that was, was a tricky a mistake in defense. Tricky play. Oh. It came off lack of boost. Overwhelming pressure, really? and there's the mistake. Two goal lead, should be able to lock this one down, the Chiefs. Love to see them just steady, steady the ship a little bit. Get that 3-1 series lead. Any touch? I'm third. What did you say? You first, Lucky. I'm third. Yeah, I'm faking, I'm not diving. Cool. I'll go yeah, first then. No. I'll, I'll yeah. go. I beat yeah. you. He dunked me, you. Yeah, right. I can't. Yeah, double. Uh, you. I'm zero. Oh, I'll try which is no. right now. I'm slow, you lot. Yeah, he's cutting from Nice. Mid left. I go, I'll be I'm back. I win, I win, I win, I win. Full boost. Oh, I, I go zero. I'll take a shot. I'm zero. Back he's forward, on. Back forward, back forward. I'm right. Right. I'm 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 right. He's cutting on. And Brute missed it. Chiefs get the job done. Three-one. That was their best game yet. They're they're most consistent. It's hard to gauge last series. Sorry, last game. Given that it was a two v two. I'm out. For <laughs> Gremlins. And this is the biggest timeout of their life. That was solid from the Chiefs. Entering defense, and we do get a timeout. I did not know the timeouts were a thing still. We do get a timeout, which gives us one minute, ladies and gentlemen. It gives us one minute to have some fun. Timeout time! 
One more game! We in and we're in! We in and we're in! Hey y'all, Scott here. Off oh, to buy video games right now. I have to. 
leave my room. Now I could always buy video games online on Amazon or just straight digitally, but come on. I need video games now, not in one to two. George Mike. Pop the fucking pick, dude. Come on, Go ahead and do it. Go ahead, be my guest. Come on. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's even bigger. George Mike. In a world where academic deadlines meet the blank page. Grammarly? Hi, yeah. Who'd win? A corpse? Or a fresher corpse? The two, two handhelds of the eighth generation of gaming. Both are officially dunzo, discontinued, nothing really coming out for them anymore. Uh, and it's, it's a bit of a shame, but you know, it's... <laughs> Gotta move on. When the 3DS was still getting games in 2019, I mean, like, th that was an ulcer just waiting to pop for me. It was obviously still being supported just as a safeguard for just in case the Nintendo Switch didn't work out. Who'd win? A corpse? Or a fresher corpse? It Who'd win? Who'd win? A corpse? Or a f fresher corpse? The two hands. Who would win? A Who'd win? A okay. Who'd win? Yeah. Who'd win? A corp?
in Target. A custom You think I would do that? No. No, I'm normal. I'm a normal person. Come on, man. Person. No. You can go in a designer. Run a job game. Manchester City Manchester City Of course I won't do that, Ethan. No. I'm a normal person. Of course I am. If I can do normal stuff, not if I do normal stuff. Yeah. Not in a weirdo, anyway. Whereas I'm not. Absolutely. I'm not. I hate dangerous. Oh, yeah. Look at people's dangerous. 
danger of you. That's a turd. It's a bacteria. It's called a bacteria. That's a bacteria. Oh, you're a piece of shit. Dude. 
Yksi televoits. Tuossa on. Mä oon te kotinua. Mä oon kotinua. Mä oon kotinua. Mä oon
Jackie, come on, it's time for bed, buddy. Christ, what have you been doing in here, Jax? Why is there more shit all over the floor? Jax. What? What have you been doing? Where the fuck was my bookcase? Oh, Jesus, you don't make it easy. All right, come on, take everything away. I want everything on charge. Do not have a switch in there. Put the games away. Go. Oi. Come on, let's go to bed. Come on, switch it off. You're going to do it really nice. 